My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UiPath. Today we will see how we can compare numbers in Excel columns with UiPath. It was a question I got from Christian Albert to one of my videos, and he asks, let me show you that in Excel, if he had three columns, A, B, and C. A and B, those are values, and C, uh, those ones are emails. He want to compare A to B, so if uh, A and B in a row is not equal to each other, that is, if the difference is greater than zero, then he want to send a mail to the mail in the row. So that's why I made five different mail addresses, and that's pretty much the case. Um, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about UiPath and RPA. But let's get started. We will close down this Excel sheet, but we'll notice that it's sheet 1. Close it down, we'll open it in a few seconds, then we'll head to UiPath. First, we will find an Excel application scope. Drag this guy in. We will uh, point to where our where workbook is, that is on my desktop here called Euro. So find that and click Open. Then we want to unmark visible. We are not interested in seeing the calculations. Then we will have a read range also from the Excel activities. Drag this guy in. It's sheet one. That was what we specified. Then we want to output it to a data table. So Control K. We can call this DT Euro like this. So now we outputted it to a data table. We can see it here in variables that we indeed created a data table variable called DT Euro. So far, so good. Now we want to, we can open the Excel sheet again. We want to iterate through the data table. And the data table looks exactly like the Excel sheet. So we want to iterate through each row and find where the difference is greater than zero and then send a mail. However, we won't send a mail. I made a video about sending mails, uh, how to send attachments with Outlook. That's also how to send mails. So we can just find that mail and solve the second part of the case by watching that video. So what we'll do here is that we will uh, iterate through each row and we'll have a for each row for that. So drag this guy in. We will delete this body and then we'll say for each row in, that's just a DT euro that we just created up here. So now we're going through each row and then we want to have an if. So we want to ask if the difference is greater than zero. So if. And what we'll need to do here is that we will need to convert these ones to doubles because those one comes in or here in the Excel application scope as objects and to uh, have a calculation on it that is uh, to compare them in a condition then we want to have them as doubles. So what we'll do here is that we'll say convert to double and then we will take the object out of the Excel sheet in the normal way. So that will just be the row, that's the Q and row dot item that will be uh, where what column we want to have it from that's the column a first like this oh sorry like this so now we converted that to a double that number here and then we want to say minus and then we want to say convert to double and we'll just do it with b so what we can do is that we can just copy this one here and just change this to b and when do we want to do something? We want to do something if the difference is greater than or less than zero. That is, if it's not equal to zero. So, not equal to zero. Sorry, like this. Then we want to do something like this. For here, we will just write out the whole line. So, we'll write out A, B, and the A email with a comma separated um, expression. So, drag in a right line. We will go up here and then we will uh, write the expression out. What we'll say is that we'll say row item, so we'll write the first amount out, A to string, and we'll say plus and a comma in quotation marks, plus row item whatever in B to string, and then we'll say comma whatever in C, that's the main address, row item. C to string. That should do it like this. So now we could write out this one will be this one here, this one here, and this one here. We will write out three lines. Let us see that in function. So run the workflow and it's done. We can see here in output that we got three lines. We got um, this one here this one here and this one here and of course we could maybe have chosen another one than commas because uh, my danish um, numbers those are uh, that are comma decimals so or maybe choose something other than commas like uh, whatever you want 
maybe just bases or yeah so that's it that's how you solve the case gave to us by christian albert and if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up that will really help me a lot have a good day bye bye